Hey Judd, can you say hi to everybody? <laughs> hi folks. So I need a break from uh, working. I thought, you know what? Let's just take an iPhone video and uh, share where we're at. So got this trailer, which is great. I think I've got at least two more big trailers coming on Saturday. Today's Wednesday. So today I'm alone and I'm just trying to get the low hanging fruit. I got a bunch of boxes. Uh, they're on a skid. And the plan is to use the John Deere tractor with forklifts that you guys have seen in videos before, I'm sure. And then there at the new property, the landlord has a skid steer. Now, um, I will be honest in that I want to be really careful and make sure that that skid steer is, is able to lift. No, I'm not worried about the pallet boxes. Uh, and, and yes, I will not be lifted that way. I will rearrange those or, or, or strap them in. But, um, you know, the biggest concern is, you know, last time I moved the Tormach, it... Um, it didn't have the enclosure, and we actually still lifted it from the bottom, but I'm obviously, you know, that's my baby. I'm very conscious of that. We, you know, the tool changer doesn't reduce the weight, not a huge change. What I remember in New York was I disconnected my 220 and didn't have the table, I believe, all the way forward, which is important to try to get it to balance. But bottom line, unless we take the top of the enclosure off, we're not going to use the hook, lifting hook. So, um... We're not going very far, and we've got, you know, that trailer's relatively low. And, you know, we're just, you know, I want to emphasize to folks I'm going to be safe, but, you know, uh, we're going to try to get this thing done. Things like those toolboxes, I'm actually making sure they're pretty full. We'll saran wrap them um, and then just lift off of the tractor into a, a short tra uh, trailer. That should be easy. The bridge port I'm a little nervous about. Easy with the John Deere. You put a 4x4 under the head into the piece right there lower the the knee um easy-ish to do safe with the john deere again i'm conscious with the skid steer so um anybody move one of these with a the skid steer again i want to emphasize i'm not you know worst case i'll leave it on the trailer and go uh, bring the john deere to the new shop or something um i can't get a forklift rented i could probably call in a favor with somebody but it's not ideal so um you know one step at a time I uh, got the shelves mostly cleaned out. I'm actually debating about leaving everything, the hooks on my pegboard and just taking the pegboard because I kind of like it. Um, more boxes and stuff and getting some rimfire steel work in progress here, just strapped up, kind of messy. Um, the granite plate, I mean, that stuff's just getting wheeled on. I don't care if we have to take a few more trips. Same thing with the red toolbox. I'll fill it up, saran wrap it. Haven't moved the lathe. Uh, my thought is you've got a lot of weight on the left side, so I moved the turret to the right and down. Um, and, you know, we'll just take it easy and see how it feels when we lift it up. Um, there's no hook point on it, so I don't really know what you were supposed to do. The Lista doesn't have a ton in it, um, but the thought there, it doesn't have a great um, lifting point because it has a, like almost these skirts at the bottom that keep you from getting forks under it. I think what I'm going to do is... Um, is uh, pinch wrap it or, or wrap it up and down and then lift it up a little maybe with the overhead where's that trolley crane just real careful and get a pallet under it and then maybe use 10,000 pound straps to get it on a pallet um, making sure of course that it's not top heavy um, again that's the goal to be smart um, oh I have a question for you guys I have made the executive decision that I'm going to buy a screw compressor the new shop is a little smaller than I'd like, and I want it to stay quiet for my safety, hearing Jared's safety, and for videos, and air quality. So I also was planning on getting one anyway when I got a bigger machine and all that. So uh, unfortunately, I'm still going to have to move this one because I need a compressor for now. But I would appreciate if somebody could point me to something. I know there's a lot of companies out there that make them, and I may just have to call a local dealer, but I'm open to input. Service grinder is real easy, blast cabinet, um, you know, parts washer. Uh, the Emco is actually not that bad. We've moved it a few times now. And the torch mate, we, we move this in a little a bit of an unconventional manner where we put forks under one side and a strap across it. And again, real nice and easy. I, I pulled the slats out last time. I'm going to try not to this time. You can see there's our <laughs> X-carve. And then, you know, little stuff like diacros and the uh, Whitney punches on wheels. That's easy. Ellis is on part wheels, but again, not hard. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but I think we've got seven or eight guys coming. I think, I think three or four trucks with trailers. 
Um, and you know, we take our time and uh, I've got one guy coming tomorrow. He and I are just gonna try to get all the stuff that's, you know, guys, you know, like these uh, tool organizer boxes and the, and the small stuff, the DeWalt, that kind of thing. So we're making progress. Uh, Thank you very much, folks. I appreciate the, uh, you know, onward and upward, folks. Take care.